Hey guys, Liam here. Happy Friday. Valve has begun testing the latest version of Proton, the compatibility layer to run Windows games on Linux desktop and Steam Deck. Proton 7.0-4 now has a public release candidate build ready for testing. I'm going to show you how to opt into it, but before that, a warning. This will affect any games that are currently set on Proton 7 because it is the default version of Proton used. Valve also set it specifically on certain games and you might have set it specifically on a certain game as well. So if you don't want potential breakage, do not do this. But here's how. Find Proton 7 in your Steam library. Head to the Properties and to the Betas section. From there, in the drop-down box, just look for Release Candidate. You just select it and then wait for it to download and then it is done. A lot of what's changed has come over from previous versions of Proton Experimental. Games that they list as newly playable include Aquarist My First Job, Trove, Chuzzle Deluxe, Zuma's Revenge, Karma Flow The Rock Opera Video Game Act 1 and 2, The Rising of Shield Hero Relive the Animation, and Disgaea 5. This of course comes with plenty of improvements and bug fixes like the on-screen keyboard coming up automatically in the Final Fantasy XIV launcher. The Final Fantasy XIV launcher should no longer exit silently when there's not enough space to download an update. Hard space shipbreaker failing to connect to online services. The music should be fixed now in Let's Build a Zoo. Bloons TD6, one of my favourite tower defence games, should no longer crash on touch input. Assassin's Creed Origin, hanging during gameplay after a recent update. Black Ops 2 Zombies and Black Ops 2 Multiplayer should no longer crash after connecting online. Cossacks 3 should no longer have graphical glitches. Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak should no longer have garbled audio. And various other fixes. Valve put this out in public for testing because they also want your feedback. So if you find something that's newly broken or problematic with this release candidate that didn't happen before, you need to let them know. There will be a link in the description to the GitHub post where you can go and give them feedback. And please do, let's make this a good release to keep compatibility for Steam Deck and Linux moving forwards. And that's all for now, but once Proton 7.0-4 is out of testing and stable for everyone and it's released, I will let you know, of course, as well. Have a great weekend.